No, Dimitri, we're not saying that on here. But the, no, the but point you can't is, say stuff like that. They're not showing. <laughs> no, you can't say that. Only fans pull it all. You can't say it. Listen, this is a podcast. Yeah, but you can't like. say you know, that. You can leave it. If you want to cut this out? Cut it out. All right. Stay tuned, because this episode is an absolute banger. Your three to option one. Option one podcast. Oh. Hello. And welcome back to the Option One podcast. This is episode one. And you're probably wondering who I am. My name is Theo. I'm officially the new host of this podcast. And who better than to join us for our first episode than Jess West and Dimitri. Hi. So how how are you guys? I'm good. Good? Yeah. How did you guys meet? We actually met on set. I'm going to let Jess do most talking because she does most talking anyway. So go on. Right. You say that all the like, time. On, so we met on set, actually. Yeah. Um, like, you know, um, but we didn't get together for a long, long time after that. So, yeah, we actually met on set. Um, it was years ago, wasn't it? Long. How many years? Right. <laughs> <laughs> you want to say your usual joke? Oh, I've been in pri- I could have been in prison or something. What's your usual uh, joke? You know, yeah, it's been now. a long while. Let's, so we... I actually booked her for a shoot. I was, I was commissioned at the time for Playboy to sh- shoot some... Some porn, right? Uh, yeah, and uh, we hadn't worked with each other. Uh, we kept sort of missing each other. We we met each other, but not actually worked with each other on set. Uh, I don't know what was happening, but basically we weren't getting booked together. So I ended up in booking her and myself to work with her. A lot okay. of time you get booked with the same people. Like right, um, okay. it's just how the porn works, um, and we just wasn't a two that got booked together. Yeah. Basically, when you when you met, did you like connect straight away? Did you like instantly? No, it wasn't. Was it? it was professional. So like, right. it, it wasn't. We connected straight away on a professional level. Yeah. Um, but like, it wasn't a case of we've actually both fought it. Well, you did forever. Oh really? She, she stalked me. Oh, you say that. Oh. <laughs> I did she, not stalk she, you. Stalked you? I did not. It's such a lie. You did. She stalked me. I did not stalk you. you make uh, me sound like a nutcase. No, but it's just birds, isn't it? So she was. It, <laughs> it's birds, isn't it? We did a we we did a cracking scene, and it was all good. And then I sort of met her a couple of times at her birthday. She had a party. At we a birthday hung out party. a few we, times. We hung out, and then we got closer. Um, we, yeah, we hooked up. But um, it, how did I stalk you? We wouldn't leave you alone. Are you coming? Oh. Yeah, are you going here? Oh, I'm going to be this. He was like, should I, should, I come, you know. no, he was no. like should I just come around? No, she's a lovely girl. Should look, I come look, around? Look, <laughs> <laughs> look, at the end of the day, it worked. We got together um, and we were together for about like, what, eight years or something like that? Yeah. Like, our, see, our relationship is, is quite, it's not a typical, because in porn it's quite unusual anyway to have yeah. people in this. Yeah. Thing, right. Yeah. So we got together. We were together for quite a while. We then had a business together. We then... We still have a business. We're, we're, yeah, we still have it. We're not like now, it's, it's evolved from being like in a romantic kind of relationship to, to, a, a, to a business. Okay. So yeah, we do still, we live together, but we're not like, as it, as it were, boyfriend, girlfriend, in a t- typical traditional sense. We're working right, together. Okay. Our business is together. We run like girls and management accounts, things like that. But yeah, we, you wouldn't, we wouldn't say, we go out and say, oh, this is my missus, my boyfriend, my girlfriend. We're not, that, that, that died a few years ago for many reasons. We're not going to go into it. <laughs> right, so you're not... We're, to, we're not, not boyfriend, so girlfriend. Not boyfriend and girlfriend. No, we were, and now we're just business partners. Oh, but we still right, live together, okay. and we have dogs together. Yeah, dogs are. And right. we dogs still right. work together. Do you like sleep in the same bed? <laughs> no, I have all the dogs with me. No, it's oh. fucking filthy, mate. She's got like it is. So I have. It's, I like to have the dogs with me because um, Dimitri's very unaffectionate, aren't you? Oh, he's the most unaffectionate yeah, person. That's not. An, I've always, I'm saying he loves them really. Hold on a minute. Let's just get something straight. It's not like I've ever been No, he's never been affectionate. Right? He's always like, when, we did, when we got together in the beginning, right, I said, so look, I'm not going to change the job I do. I said, yeah. we'll get together. Fine, because you're a nice girl. She's, she's genuine. She's kind. She's, she's got a lot of good qualities. Yeah, like, yeah. Don't get, I'm not like knocking the girl, right? But, yeah. Uh, <laughs> let's just make it clear. Yeah. We were together. We were boyfriend, girlfriend for a number of years, right? Right. But in the, in the beginning, I did say, I don't want to get married. I don't want kids. And I'm not going to stop what I'm doing. If you're cool with that, then we'll do what we can. And you were, and yeah. she, and quite yeah. frankly, she was cool. But over over time, you know, I will say, and I think this is a lot, lot to do with relationships in general. I'm not a relationship kind of guy. She's quite a loner. Right. He okay. actually prefers to be on his own. No, and not, and not just that. <laughs> it is true. Yeah. But also, I think relationships are a lot to do with compromise. Like, mm. you have to be considerate with what the other person's about. Or, you know, if you love each other, that's what it's all about. It's not just what you yeah. want or what they want to do. It's, it's a compromise. And, you, you and I'm you not look- really compromising in any way. Right. Right. I feel like, like we still love each other in a certain way. But it's like, because we have the business and, and, and maybe because of our jobs as well, it's, mm. it's kind of made our relationship go in a different sort of way, you know? Right. Like, like I said, we still live together. We're still, yeah, it's not like, like, I've got a lot of love for her. It's not, don't, so let's not confuse it. It's yeah. just, we're not what the typical, we're not boyfriend, girlfriend. We're, 
that stopped a while back. We don't go right. holding hands no. and right. stuff. But like I said, we still live together. She does what she wants to do. I want to do what I want to do. But I'm not interested in. Like, the problem is, and it's I think a girl and guy difference. Well, is in our thing is yeah. girls kind of like the idea of having a sort of a guy there, security. Yeah. Be, which I think is yeah. true. Yeah. Is it hard for you? So it's harder for her in that sense. But for mm. me, I'm kind of not really. It's nothing. Doesn't draw me to it. Yeah, you know what I mean, it's not. You start doing your thing. I'm just like a like kind of a lone wolf in a sense. Like, mm. I feel like doing this job as well. It's not to say that you can't, but like it's more difficult. It's right. definitely more difficult because, um, like you know, obviously you are having sex with other people and yeah. stuff like that. And even though, like, I know, and obviously he knows himself. Like, you know, it, it means nothing on set because mm. work is work, right? But it, there is still. It's was still, there a jealousy there? For me, right? there was. There was like, right. okay. um, it was took me a while, even though he did nothing to it, like give me any reason for yeah. like jealousy yeah. um but it, i think i'm a normal girl so it's felt like if i wasn't doing this this job i would have never ever got with like a porn guy ever really yeah. no no because i could never handle it and mm. even being a porn girl and knowing what i know it's still difficult like yeah. you know like even though it is it's just not natural sex. to like have your partner who you love to go and have sex with someone else well, yeah my, my girlfriend's in there and like I, I just think about it like i don't think it's, the average couple could yeah, handle it it's, it's a no. lot they can't. But that's why I feel like our relationship has gone the way that it has, but it works for us. Like I said, we're, we're, we're still happy, we're fine, and we're still, like I said, we've got a lot of love for each other and everything. Yeah. And um, and it works. Like I said, we still got the house, we've got the dogs, um, you know, and we, we basically, we still do stuff together. It we works. still work together. Yeah. We still, yeah. But we're just not lit, like sitting at home cuddling at night every night. Like, you mm. know, like we'll still have dinner and stuff together, right? and, and sometimes we watch films, don't we? Do you, do you <laughs> guys, she watches a lot of shit. <laughs> <laughs> watches shit. Honestly, we have, do you know what? With this we're week, complete opposites. I'm surprised we were yeah. sort of together for so long, in a because really? we are, you couldn't find more. Basically, opposite. the only thing we agree on is the dogs. Yeah, dogs Would you say you're more it. relaxed, and he and you're more like the are you more confident, or what? What? I think we both got. I think we're both confident in our own way. It's just why don't you like? Why are you both opposite? Basically, if I say something, she will say the opposite. We have opposite. totally different like, right. views. Yeah, it's I've just used a case just... of I think a certain way and he thinks a certain way. It's not a case that one's wrong, but right. we're both very black and white. Yeah, yeah. And we're both very stubborn on. Yeah, we really. Changing around. I'm very much, I like leave with my heart and my feelings. Dimitri doesn't. He's very headstrong and he he won't let emotions get into it. Whereas me, I will feel with my heart, even yeah. if my head's telling me something else. Whereas you won't. You, yeah, you, but again, very... this wasn't, we realised right at the outset, just cut in the honeymoon period, a few months in kind mm. of thing, that we didn't agree on anything. Yeah. Like, really? we, but yeah, yeah, yeah. but we were, sw <laughs> we're adults and we said, okay, well, we're, Fine, you have your thoughts. That doesn't mean we're going to, we didn't row about it. Yeah. We, we realised very quickly that we don't, we don't agree on anything. No, but we came so, to the decision a lot of the time that, okay, um, well, let's agree to disagree. Like, you think that way and I think that way, and that's okay. Like, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Let's just carry on, yeah. whatever. So it, it wasn't, it that wasn't ever an issue of contention. That's fine. We are all different, aren't we? Built differently. Yeah, but, of course. Of but course. ultimately, it, you can't find more opposites than us two. Yeah. Really, we, yeah. And yeah. the only thing that, and the only thing that did bond us and has and is bonding us is the dogs. Like we, we do. Really? Have, well, and the business. We have, and, and obviously yeah. the well, business. Well, the business. Look, we have a the business works well because Jess, I've got no my patience level is really low. Right. So right. I, I, I struggle. For example, give one one thing that Jess is good at, and I'm not right. Dealing with the girls. Dealing with the oh, girls. Right. So like when we're trying to book the talent. To come around to shoot, go so to like a girl might ring me up and say like, "Oh, I'm on my period and stuff like this. Can I sponge it?" So to which you'd be like, "No, what, let's what, cancel what is, the shoot." What's, what, what's sponging it? Just so the viewers. So sponging basically. So when a girl, this might not be the, the most nicest topic, but when a girl's obviously on her period, yeah. right? So sometimes you still have a scene booked, right? So right. obviously you don't want to bleed everywhere. That's not good. No, no, right? you can't show so, blood on and camera. And you can't show blood so on camera. Yeah, of course, so we yeah. put a sponge up there. Right, just stick a sponge. Up. <laughs> and then it, yeah. Stick a sponge up there, so it holds it, right? So, so you don't bleed, basically. And is this like it, a common? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a trick import. of the trade. Yeah, important. So, like, but Dimitri hates it because yeah, one this is not. Feel... Really, yeah, but other than you're going to the. That's not why. Not the point is that that's. No, but I'm saying you don't like dealing with girls. Yeah, so yeah, I yeah, deal but, with that. Yeah, in a sense, not. That's just one. I, for example, you you arrange a time, a date, or something, and yeah. then they'll flake most of them. Like honestly, in this business, really, yeah. yeah. So. I can't be asked to sit there having to say, oh, hear the bullshit. Oh, my dog fucking run over, got run over. Or yeah. My kid couldn't get picked up. No, but all you've I can't got, go to hear the bullshit. You've got that, sorry, you've got the other side where they'll message every five minutes like, oh, are you, are you like, I still want to talk to him. And he's just like, I'm not interested. Yeah, oh, really? yeah there's that side. There's the craving side. Like, oh, I can't, I can't wait to yeah. meet you. I really want to work. I've seen your videos. I, I'm not interested in that either, the flirting. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm, I'm business. Like, you start to get I'm, in there, I'm, get it done. Get, yeah. So, yeah. so, she's had a couple, so she can deal with all that. She's had a couple before that's like literally slid into his DMs and yeah. like sent him like pussy pics and he's just like, what is this? Really? Like, 
<laughs> See, most guys would love that. Yeah, mate, oh, yeah, I've been mate. doing it I, I must have done over 2,000 scenes. I've been doing it 20, over 20 years, right? Uh, you think me seeing a bit of pussy is going to like... Yeah. Fuck you. I couldn't give a fuck. Really, like, yeah. And the funny thing is, like, most up until recently, she used to do all, so, manage my social media. Well, so I they, still do. Well, not my Twitter. I do my Twitter. Yeah. So what they would do, they'd be sending pussy pictures to her. Really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. To get to you? Yeah. No, 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 they they think I think him. it's me. They think oh, it's him. Right. She's the one who answers my DMs. So all these birds are coming into the DMs and she's talking as if it's me. Like, right. Like, so, right? And, like, and they will float with her. Yeah. But, and I do, think, do you text back? Yeah, yeah she texts back. Oh, you're so, well, so sweet. Game, Can't right? wait yeah. to I know how to play the game. Dimitri hates it, right? Well, it's me. Oh, You can't be asked with it. I'm on the verge of saying, oh, fuck off. Fuck off. But not because, because I just can't be bothered. Like, it's not my, like, back in the day when porn had the professional studios like, yeah. which is not a thing really now and so much right, right a very right. small part of it at least yeah they were just you'd get a call I'd say like I'd get a call Dimitri are you available next week or whatever this time and I'll say yeah I'll go and that'd be it right there was no there was no need for me to be on platforms to say hi world yeah this is Dimitri I've done X amount of scenes I've done like can you can I have some begging for work yeah this you was in the scene the producers knew the, the players. Mm. They'd ring them up. They'd ring you up, or you could ring them up every now and again if you wasn't if you was being a bit quiet. Yeah. It work, and that's how work was done. Right, I see. There, and then once you'd done the film, the company you worked for would cut would 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 do all the promotion. They'd send out like little trailers or little pictures and things to, to show. Well, they know where to post it on all the tube yeah. sites, so and that's how, so that the scene goes viral, basically. And that's how it right, works. So, there was no, so the whole marketing of yourself, of your own brand, wasn't really, back in the day when I when I started, wasn't really a thing. It wasn't, someone else used to do that kind of thing. You have to sell yourself now. But now, you? yeah. now you're selling yourself. That's part of the job. And I'm not mm. knocking it. I mean, that's you've got to go with the times and that's what, yeah. you've got to use but these that's platforms. that's why you're a bit of a dinosaur. With I'm a complete it, dinosaur. I, that's I, why he hates it. That's I why tend, he hates it. I fights tend it. not to. It's not that I've, I did fight a bit, but you what you I fight find, me every step of the way. The problem you've got <laughs> is, you've got charlatans now. You've got people that aren't actually good at what they do, but because they're good at um, manipulating social media, yeah, buying followers to as well, right? Really? They, do, that... they buy. Some people do buy so followers. So it yeah. looks like they're more popular than they are. You suddenly find you've got guys and girls who have no talent, but yet seem to be getting booked for various things or being in the in the popular eye. So you don't yeah. think it's fair in a way? Well, it's not that it's fair, but, no, but it's fair if you're if you're if you're if you're if you've got talent. If you're, if you're I feel like if you're gifted in some way, well, but if you're just there because you you're good, followers. you're you're good. You're good at showing that you're that you're good. Right. You're like, let me give you an example. Let me give you one, one example. I went to. I'm, I'm contracted to the Greece's biggest adult production company. It's called Serena. Okay. Right? So I've been with them for, for years. Right. So every couple of months, I go out there and we shoot feature films. Like so, it's kind of the professional side of the job that I do. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It used to be more regular, but after since COVID, it, it fucked up, and now I go every other month, as opposed right. to like every other week. Yeah. Right. Now I went out there just after COVID. And there was this dude, real handsome fucker, Greek guy, right? Yeah. Who was a bit of an insta sensation in a, in Greece. Seven hundred something thousand followers, quite which is oh, quite wow. a Greece for a guy. Yeah, that's quite it, good. He was like um a, a semi famous like fitness model, physique on him, like Greek god. This dude, right? Really, right? yeah. So, and at the time, I must have had about four thousand followers on Twitter or something, right? <laughs> yeah, so yeah. This dude with seven hundred, <laughs> nearly a million thousand, right? And yeah. me with a few. So I'm on set with this dude. And he's looking down his nose at me, like saying, "Why?" Because I'm, I'm good, good. Because I'm, as I said, I'm contracted to this company, so I'm good friends with the producer. Is my friend as well as my boss in a sense, right? Yeah, well, we yeah, know each other. We're good friends. No, we go out for dinner. So, and because he could see the relationship I was having with the, the director, producer, director, this guy got the answer. Goes, "Why? Why are you asking Dimitri? Why are you asking this guy about what positions we should do and where and what, where we should do it and what, 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 what we should do first? Why, should, why aren't you involving me in this?" And, so, and, and the producer goes, "Well, Dimitri." Is this his job? He's been doing it for many years. We we trust what he says. He knows what the best angles are. Yeah, but you can learn something from him, kind That's of thing. It, yeah. right? And he goes, he turned around. This by the way, this whole conversation was in Greek. Yeah, right. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, he, and he turns around to me, and goes, "Yeah, but he's only got three thousand followers, right? This is what, right? This is this, this is his mindset. Meanwhile, he's got seven hundred thousand, is whatever, right? Yeah. And I, I just looked. I, I thought, what's that got to do anything? Do you know yeah, I mean? that's, it's that's can't what, be awesome. That's, that's how it is now. And then we started the scene. And this guy could not get wood for life, love of money, right? He was flapping around. He went bright red. He must have talked about four Viagras. Nothing was happening. He really? Was just like, yeah. And then, like, because he'd been a prick, I, I couldn't help myself. And I go to him, yeah, but, mate, because I, I don't understand what's going on. I couldn't, I can't, well, I'm normally good at this, whatever. And I, and I turn around to him in Greek. I go to him, yeah, but you've got 750,000 followers. <laughs> <laughs> don't know, mate. I bet he's never forgot that, you know. And he, he, he walked off set. 
Did he? he, he well, was it done? Yeah, he was but upset. Do you know what I feel like? But, see, did like, he, but see the point. So you've got people who are fakers who are getting the credit and limelight, who get even opportunities that they shouldn't be getting. Just right? looking down on you a bit, and looking down on people who have actually done it, who actually can do it. Like just yeah, because you have. Right. I feel like, and that's my problem. Your question really. that you said, I, like, do you think it's unfair? I yeah. think the game has changed now. Mm. I think it's not a case of like if you're a really good performer, like. That, does that mean that like you have the most followers? Not necessarily. Right. Like you could you could be someone who is not a best performer, but yeah. have more followers than someone who's been around and done it for longer. Like for me, like a male performers, it's a, it's a hard job, right? I like, was gonna say, they, yeah. like they have to get there. Like for me, it's easy, right? I can fake it all day long, right? Really, if I, yeah. I don't, right? If, yeah. <laughs> if, if, if I she loves to, a dick. If I, if, <laughs> if I want to, I can, right? He can't fake it, right? Mm. If he is having a bad day. Right, everyone's on set waiting for him to get hard. And yeah. No matter what, right? I'll get paid no matter what, right? Because I've been there, and if he doesn't get hard, he won't get paid. Oh, I is will. That how it is? Yeah, yeah, it's hundred oh, percent. Really? So wow. it makes no difference to me because I've been there and I've done what I've needed to do. Or I've tried, and if he if if he can't do it, yeah, that's up is, to him. there's a lot of pressure on the guys perform because the girl gets paid, the location gets paid, the, the crew, crew get paid, right? Mm. Uh, all get paid, but if you can't get wood, nothing gets done. Yeah. So there's a lot. So that's why yeah. there's only a few guys that kind of do it, and you have got to give them props for that. But when you've got guys who are great at, at manipulating social media to show that they yeah. can. Like, I've even tried to book a few of these guys to take to, to do things. Oh, this guy's got like 300,000 followers. He, he must be all right. I go on set with them and they they can't actually can't do it. They, really? they can do it if they're with a bird, they're having a couple of drinks at, at, at their house and they've got their iPhone set up. Would you say you're both living your dream? If not, what is your dream in life? I would say like that I am living my sort of, say I dream life. Like, so I like the life that this the lifestyle. Um, yes, the lifestyle right. it like leads me to live. Like, I wouldn't necessarily. I, don't get me wrong. I do love. I do love my job, but I don't. I wouldn't say it's my dream, dream job. Okay. But I do love the lifestyle it leads me to live. Like simple things. Like I like going to Sainsbury's on a weekday. Yeah. With like when no one's there, I like taking my dogs. Like yeah. to, to like I book a private field for my dogs. Like so I just take them out when I want to. Wow. Like yeah. So I yeah. just like to be able to, and also like we do get to travel and stuff like that. And like we wouldn't have the house that you know we've got if we didn't have like this job I don't think because I don't think I, I don't know another job that I would want to do that would earn the money that we earn so mm. I do think it, uh, it leads me to live the lifestyle I like yeah you know? yeah what would you say <laughs> you're a dick is it because I'm from a guy's perspective the average guy would look and be like that is a dream job yeah the average guy. It. yeah so this is the funny so, thing right he gets called a legend are you getting me answer I like, you're, asking the, you're asking me the question and you're like well he you asks both the so questions you, you, you answered you he's asked you and you've answered on, you, you, you get, just started laughing you get called a legend by who yeah, listen everyone. It, it's everyone every yeah. the, it's not the dream job for a guy. Everyone, a guy, a normal guy could think that. You're making yeah. birds, getting paid. You're going to shatter well, everyone's illusions now. But when you actually, yeah. but it's, but it's, but it, it's, that said, it's changing now because like we've, we've touched, touched upon, it's not the same as it used to be. It's not mm. the whole, it's content creation now, majority, yeah. majority. So it's kind of accessible to everyone. Back in the day, it was a bit more barriers of entry. Was like it better had, back in the day? Though, I, it? I, that's the, that, the day I, I learnt my trade. That's mm. how I grew up in it. That's what I. That's what I know. I'm. I'm changing to this way now because if I don't, I'm going to be left behind. Hence, why I'm doing the boxing thing just to bring eyes on me. Yeah, we'll, we'll touch on that in a second yeah. for those of you watching. So yeah. So, but the point is, it's it's a completely different. Um, so go, answering the point, it sounds like an amazing job. Yeah. And if you and if you're good at it, it pays well, and you get to experience different things. Fair enough, right? But for me, like the novelty factor of it wore off within the first year. Really? In yeah. fact, it probably took me about nearly 10 years of doing porn. I don't think I've been doing it over 20 years, probably. Wow. Uh, I'll say nearly 10 years before I was actually on the same money. It didn't, I wasn't earning money at the beginning, good, like good money. It was yeah, hard, yeah, yeah. Like, about eight, eight years, eight to 10 years before I was even on par with the money I was earning before I got into porn. I was in the city, I was a city analyst before I got into porn. Right, okay. I lost my job after 9-11. Mm. Another long story. But wow. so... So for, for years, I was actually at, at a loss, money-wise. Mm. But the difference is, as just touched upon, the lifestyle is different. Like, you you may, 
I might not have been earning as much money, but I was doing things that multi-millionaires, I'd, I'd be banging like fit birds on, on yachts in the Mediterranean. Like yeah. you couldn't, if you was paying for that, it'd cost you'd have to be multi-millionaire. Oh yeah, of course. Right? Yeah. So the lifestyle was there, but mm. uh, the income wasn't, didn't come until Can much. Can just say, much... girls earn differently to boys. So like, I, my my yeah. money is like almost double his. Yeah, so right. like, even on, like it's different now because he, he is obviously established and he is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But back in, in the day, my fee would be double his. Now his is, his is on part no, but of it mine, depends. It's, but... it's like for like. So if you've got if you've got a pro girl and a pro guy, right? The pro girl will always get paid more than right. The, right? I mean, it's the girl that sells it. it. Yeah, but uh, you know, so it all depends on your experience. Though, like a, no a normal guy coming into the game will get shit money, right? Mm. Until he's established himself. But even once he's but once he's established, he'll get decent money. And and depending on who he's affiliated with, like con contracted, yeah. he can probably earn a lot more than most. Definitely most other guys, but also most girls. But if you compare that guy to the top girl. a top girl, as he's a top guy, then it's the no girl, yeah, there's the no girl comparison. Is, right. so, so, it is, yeah, so it is geared towards the girl. But as just says, the girls sell the products. I mean, yeah. some guys do really well because they have a bit of a name for themselves. They have a certain style. Yeah. People tend to go to their product because they like how they interact with a girl. They, you know, there's different things. But what like, there's a guy, Johnny, what's his name? Johnny Sins, Sins yeah. This guy he's probably, I'd say, the most popular like in, in when I was at school, everyone would talk about him. Right, the yeah. main so, porn star. He's the one that's most known. So, so he, yeah, his popularity is so great that he's killing it like, more than most of the like any of the girls. I think like he's mm. suddenly he's, he's found a platform. TikTok's really worked for him. Yeah, he's got has. millions and millions yeah, of followers. He like he's not even contracted to anyone yet. He's got like this big name. Yeah, in fact, I know him not personally, but. I know a friend of mine who's worked in scenes with him. Mm. I'm not going to give too many names out. Yeah, because I don't want to put someone in it. But who's actually said the guy's not really that good a performer on set. No, oh, really? He's not that. He's all right one-on-one -on -one with a girl, but yeah. it's not good with there's a couple of guys in it or there's, there's a bit of pressure. It's yeah. not really his thing. Yeah. But it doesn't matter because he's made, he's, he's good enough in his own little he's bubble. He's got his own name. Mm. And he's got so many followers that girls, like just with AVNs the other day, America, in America, LA, uh, yeah. Vegas, <laughs> and all the girls are there to try and get a scene with this guy. And he didn't even turn up. <laughs> really? Like, yeah. They were, they were saying that he'll be there, this, that, and the other. And he was so popular that all the girls from yeah. everywhere, not just UK, Europe, were going there just to try and get a scene. Because if you get a scene with this dude who's got like 12 million followers on TikTok. He's got 8 million on TikTok. Uh, well, I mean, that is, right? You've kind of you, made it. You know yeah. that... You, you're gonna sell that because yeah. there's a lot of there's a lot of eyes and and that's and that's what the industry, now now I don't don't not, don't get me wrong I think in his instance he's kind of what he's 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 grafted for that he's worth it yeah, you know, yeah it might not yeah. be the best but he's actually good enough to sell the the idea what my my problem is, is you've got guys who are emulating that business model i.e. being good on the meet social media yeah 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 yet they're not coming up with the goods they're not they're yeah. they're, they're just shit they're just yeah you know, no. I and that, and that's 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 my that's my gripe with it. But at the end of the day, everyone's got that. You know, if if you're shit and you can get away with it, I suppose why not? Isn't it? Well, that's it. Yeah, <laughs> just shortening the hard work. Do you think obviously now sex is kind of your your lives? Is it changed like your personal? It so, does change like, that. Yeah. When, when you're in a relationship, like boyfriend, girlfriend, yeah, did it, it does change it. it. It does. It just makes way? you not want to like have it because you do it as a job all the time. Mm. Like that it just like, I mean, like, I, there'd be times, loads of times and, and you'd be like, no, I can't be bothered. I don't want to do anything. Yeah, it comes mechanical. You really? can't, it's hard to, because there is two, there, there are two different things. Work on set, and work and, and, pl and work and yeah. sex for pleasure. In, in what way is it different? Well, it... Sex. It, when you're having sex for, for for love or pleasure with your missus or whatever. You're doing what you're, you want. You would do what? Yeah. Right. You're not so, like positioning yourself for a camera. Yeah. You're not yeah, like yeah. holding positions. So like for instance, like on on camera, I'd be holding positions that I were uncomfortable. Like reverse cowgirl for me is my absolute worst. I oh, hate really? it with an absolute passion. Yeah. But I have to look like I'm loving every second of it. But mm. I hate it. Like I would never do that normally because I would want to look at the person. I would never yeah, want to have yeah. my back to them. Of course. Yeah, but but point is. The logistics are completely different. So the positions and stuff. Not you, you do things that are comfortable when it's for fun. Yeah. Right? And also you've connected. You're someone you you want to do it with. You do it for longer. It, it, well, yeah. less time. Less time private and longer in scenes, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, because you have to long it out. Yeah, but, you have to long it so out. The sex you don't do as much. Like, is there anything else like cuddling and stuff you so do he's more? He's not with? a cuddler anyway. You're not a cuddler, no. Uh, yeah, but this is this. this <laughs> fuck's sake! No, this he's is, not. No, no, yeah, but that's fine. And I was about this to say, this is why I have five dogs. But five dogs, yeah. To but to the cuddle. point is that uh, that's uh, that's my that's me, right? Yeah. Doesn't mean all guys in the porn industry. No, yes, no. Like, like 
everyone has their own thing, right? Yeah, I've yeah. Never, that's just not my style. I've never been a cuddler or hand, hold hands. If you are that way inclined, then it would, it, yeah, it, would. it wouldn't affect yeah. you. I think it would, it would, it just affects the sex. I don't think it would affect the intimacy. Right. I think it just affects the sex. But, um, like I said, Dimitri's not that way inclined. He never has been. Yeah. Like, he's just not an affectionate person, which but is. going back to your point about the differences between sex on set and sex. Not on set. Yeah, it's basically, it's totally different. It's chalk and cheese. It, even though the sex is the sex is completely different in both instances. When you, when you're doing one for a job, all, all the time. Yeah, when you, yeah, do, yeah. When, when you do have one, when you do have sex just for fun, you, there is some overlap in a sense. Oh, it starts to feel a bit like work. Like, yeah. even though it's not the yeah. same, you kind of think, oh, well, I've got a scene tomorrow morning. I don't really want to fucking get my dick sore or well, dick that's sore, it. Right? Yeah. yeah, you know things like that. Or you don't want to do, uh, do a cum shot. The night before, when you've got a big scene the next day, you want to save the come, come mm. load, you know. Yeah. So, and it's just that you just can't be bothered as well, isn't it? Like, yeah, you, like you like the idea in your head. You think, oh, I might feel a bit horny, but then you think, oh, can I be bothered I'll be to off. like yeah. go in? Yeah. No, I get that. If, if you guys could go back and change anything, would you? I don't think I would change. Or are you anything. happy with with how things have gone? I don't think I would change anything. But obviously, your relationship. Would you say you're both single? Mm. Yeah. So if there was someone else that came along for one of you. Or both of you, would that would you? Well, I'm not interested. Right, <laughs> I'm quite. <laughs> guys, guys, trying to ruin my life. No, 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 no. I've said to Jess, look, because it, she she needs to be with someone. No, but I have five dogs. Yeah, all right. Come. I have five no, dogs. If so... she if if she a guy comes into her life who is good for her, yeah, like, that's gonna have to do with me. Right? Yeah, all right. I know we do live together, mm. but we do live together. But it's yeah. not. It's, it's not a business. You, sort it's, of. It's, it's it's pure business. We use the house as a location. Mm. It's big. You know what I mean? It's, yeah. It's a, my, my kit's there, it's, you know, it's my editing rigs, all, it's set up yes, as a business, yeah. right? It just so happens that we live there. It's racing rig, it's got a whole racing rig in oh, really? Ridiculous. Wow. I'm trying, I'm trying to answer the question. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've lost my point now. What were we saying? About? About the, the, the house and like... Oh, it's some, like, so if a guy comes in and she wants to get a relationship, uh, I'm not going to stop that. It's not my business. Like mm. she could do what she, she wants to go fucking left, right and centre, like not, not for work, just for fun. Again, not my business, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, same for me, but my view is I really I can't be asked of it. He's right. so anti relationship. He done, is not that kind of way. I've done it with her now for I did it what, for <laughs> done what? It with. No, we did it a few longer than I expected. My record for having relationships in the past was about a year or so. Right. It was about seven years, eight years. Eight years. Right. Yes. So fair enough. I gave it a good shot, in my opinion. Yeah. <laughs> so how how did it sorry, sorry, carry on. No, that's it. No, so no, that's so, cool. so, uh, so my so my view is I'm quite happy to go for the rest of what well, I'm 50 odd now, 51 now, right? 51. If I, what, another 20 years, another 30 years, I'm quite happy not to have a, rela a romantic attachment. Quite happy. So there was not a fallout. There wasn't. No, no, no. Any There's not, no. Like, not like fallout or anything. It was just one of those things where, like, it just kind of sort of naturally just weren't apart, didn't it? But right. not apart in a way that where we, like I said, we live together still. We have dogs together. We still run a business. We still work together. Like we still do scenes together and stuff like that. Like, and that, you know, and everything. And I, and that, so it, in the case, not much has actually changed apart from the title. We, I would say yeah. mainly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know what it is. You know what it is. That's what, like what I would explain, say. But the point is, if she wanted to have this loving relationship with a guy, mm. then she has that option. It's not, but it's just not going to be with me. Right. Because so, so, I can't provide that. Doesn't yeah. Mean, doesn't mean I've got love for her. I think, you know. I, and at least you're should, honest and open you know, about yeah. that. Yeah. I mean. We've always been straight. Yeah, yeah. we've always There's been no point straight. About and it. Like, no, no, for no. me, like, well, right now, anyway, like, I'm quite happy with how I am mm. and how things are. And like I said, you know, I mean, I'm not going to say never, but like, right now, I'm quite happy with how my life and is. Yeah, and yeah. Stuff like that. Like, and don't forget, and our it, business relationship works, like we said. She has things that she does, and I have things that I do that together, they work well as a business. So it'd, be it'd be madness for us to, because of the way we were so it was so different to, to, yeah. to, to basically sabotage everything we've built together because we, some of the stuff we've got together does is work is, well is, basically when reason. we first got together um I like so Dimitri actually learned to edit because he realized so I was doing all the clip stores and stuff like that yeah. right and then he said to me he was like why don't you do this more and I was like because I don't have time I was like I don't have time to film I don't have time to edit I don't have time to upload I don't have time and then to do all my other bits that I'm doing you know I don't have time to do it and he was like well what if I was to like film and edit and do bits for you do you think oh, we could 
we could grow this. And I was just like, well, yeah, there is money to be made in these videos. So he actually went and properly learned to edit, like on a proper course, like you went and did it, you went and learned. He actually learned properly to edit. You're actually and then, showing my films here at Base Station. Yeah, we oh, have really? Base Station on, <laughs> on, um, on the, uh, it goes on the in between BSX channels that we've got some. Oh, sure. Um, Because Base Station commissioned us for a few. But yeah, yeah so um, like he actually went and learned to edit and learned to do it. Like he knew how to film and stuff like that, but obviously it's like, you know, it was a different thing, like learning how to, how to do it and where to position and stuff. So he actually went and learned properly how to do it all. And then we obviously like, like started doing it more with my stores and now we manage other girls as well so that's how we kind of scaled our business you know like to and she, so yeah. she deals with the day-to-day -day, getting the girls in sorting out the schedule basically and what i'll do is if i'm not actually performing in the scenes if it's not mm -hmm. boy girl scenes i will i will film it and then edit it and then provide the content to both Hot Jess and to the girls we work with and they put it on their stores. But like, oh, what I mean, our, right, our okay. business and even our working is very, very interlinked, like, you know, entwined together. So like, mm. even though like, we're not like mm. officially together or anything, we're still very close together. Like we've worked, yeah. with, you know, and that's, that's what I mean. We've really, the only kind of thing that's changed is our title. Like I said, yeah. we still live together, we're still together. Like I said, he wasn't affectionate before. So it's like. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Has there been any scenes that have been difficult? to make or not. Well, you've got loads that have, haven't you? Wait, we could talk. You answer this because... No, I, wait, tell them about your snorkel one. Yeah. That's a good one. I heard a little bit about yeah. this before and I was like, save it, tell save it. Tell the snorkel, what you had to do. He's asking you, why don't you tell him a story about yourself? He's right? asked you. That's a good story. We'll go through the snorkel and then we'll, then yeah. we'll go to Jess. What snorkel one? You told me about the snorkel. You had to learn to snorkel so that you could do a snorkel. Oh, private dive. There was a company, private dive. Back in the day, private is a is a. Are you, are you all right with talking about this? <laughs> or, or is I it... just think it's boring. I don't think right, okay. is... What was the question? What's, what's uh, the question? What's, has there been any difficult, difficult scenes? In, all right, in it's okay. So today. this, I was, we was booked on this um, shoot, um, and it was revolved about fucking underwater. Right. Right. It was so diving, and um, we I didn't know how to dive, and you had to do like a course, a three day thing. It's like a very Paddy, I can't remember what the name of it was, but yeah. basically you learn to dive for a few days and then so so you can do it underwater with the breathing gear and all that stuff, right? Right. And so I did the, the course. We was there for about two weeks, I think. So the yeah. first week was getting the course so you could go into the water and do the fucking, right? Yeah. And then so, so it was you can do the fucking in the water. In the water, yeah, in the sea. With a snorkel. With a snorkel. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's hard. It's a killer. So I learned how to do it, and I'm not really a great swimmer anyway. I don't really like I don't like the fish running near me and stuff. I no, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like it either. Yeah. yeah. So so anyway, long story short, is we spent a whole week learning how to dive, sort of basic dive, so we could go and film the thing. Yeah. And then, what was it? As soon as I learn, and then I tried to, and then I, I went, I put the gear on my back, and you got go, go backwards from the boat into the thing. As soon yeah. As, so I got to shoot Dave for the fucking, and I panicked. I, went, I, I jumped back into the thing, and I, as I went in the woods, the first time I actually did it how you're supposed to do it for the film, because I was trying to show off for the yeah. fucking film to make it yeah. look good, like, so I knew what I was doing. <laughs> Just see you splash it in the wall. And then I couldn't breathe. I was like, panic. There's no way I could fuck. Because I couldn't yeah, panic. So yeah. we spent a whole week learning and I couldn't do it. And then I ended up having to go into the swimming pool, hotel swimming pool. <laughs> <laughs> Bit of a difference. Yeah. And Bangs do it, do it in the swimming pool. And my head above the, wa the water. So, in fact, just my body. And, so, then, and pretending it was in the seat, so cutting it to look like it was. Right. So, so you can fuck underwater. You can. Is, is, it, it, is it, it hard? It, I've never yeah, actually. It's not comfortable. No, it's not comfortable. It's hard. Not good. It is. Yeah, it's. It's. Yeah. Is it, I wouldn't recommend like, doing it for fun necessarily. And it can yeah. be uncomfortable for the girl because you can get trapped water in between like the cock and like right. uh, you know. So then it can like push water in and hurt yeah. and stuff. So it's not. It's yeah. Not yeah. Think of, like a hot tub or, or anything. It can be a bit. Yeah. Yeah. And also, it's difficult to see in the water. You know, yeah. Yeah. No. The water that... and stuff. That, that is see, that's true. That's a boring story. I think that's a good story. Uh, that, that, mate, that's a you good like, story. You like that one? Yeah. Oh, I like that keep, one. keep that one in. That's a good story. <laughs> do you ever worry, or are you okay with being recognised in public for what you do? Has it happened to any of you before? So yeah, it's, it's happened to both of us actually. There was one time we was um, we was up here in Wales actually, right. and we both got recognised in a taxi. But I kind of I always like like shot it off really because I don't really like to get recognised especially not by myself because I feel quite intimidated especially when it's like a group of guys mm. and normally the response I get is just like oh like they just kind of want to come over and try and fuck me or something like that really? yeah 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 what, whereas, just out yeah yeah, yeah yeah whereas Jeez. Dimitri will get like oh my well, god you're you know, she's a bird famous for fucking right mm. and you see her she's like you've been wanking over her, and then you suddenly see her which you're going to think oh yeah. let's give it a go then I, I guess you know, that what else people don't realise like you've 
You're, you're a human. Person, you're so human. I tell you Correct. the yeah. story. I was I was going to Prague, um, and I like so I was basically in my hoodie. I had my hood up, everything. So it's very like undercover, That's and great, yeah. yeah. So I was like, sitting on the plane by myself, and then suddenly like this guy came and sat as a seat next to me. He came and sat next to me. He was like, "Oh my god, this is you, right?" Pulled up one of my porn scenes and showed it to the whole plane. I was like, "Oh my god, this oh. is her. This is her." There was like kids on the plane and Jesus. adults, and people were looking at me, and I was just like, "This is not my fault." So, like just because I've done this, I didn't put it out there for it. No. Like, I put it out there for everyone to see, but not on the plane, you it know? Like everyone look, no, no, no. Like so I kind of like said yeah. to the guy, I was like, look, do you mind like, like, yeah, that's really like, like, and I tried to play it at first, like it's not me. He goes, it's you, it's you. And then showed everyone and he was really sweet and he was like, okay, sorry, sorry. Like I didn't mean it. He just got so excited. But like, I hate that. Like, I don't I like that. Think that. Yeah. He says he's sorry, but what did he expect? That's not yeah. a sweet thing. I he's doing that in a plane but where with kids. Showing but where was yeah. him, right? Like we was, we was in Wales one time, this taxi driver recognized me and I was just like, oh no, it's not me. And then he asked about him and then he, you always say that you do what you do because he doesn't care. He gets high fived. He's like legend. He's like, oh my god, wow, you're amazing. Yeah. But they change. It's different for guys. Totally different. You're like an idol. It's it's it, well, it's different for guys. Guys yeah. like look up to it. Yeah, you know, yeah. I've never had a bad word said like in the street with people like in Greece. It was. Uh, is that is that where you're originally from? Well, I'm I'm Greek Cypriot from Cyprus, right? But um, I do a lot of work. I say, so Greece, Greece is really famous in Greece, like Brad Pitt famous. Oh really? Well, yeah, in, yeah, yeah. In Greece, it was used to be. I've been with this company right from the outset. It's about 15 years I've been with them. Yeah. Right? When, and when it first started off, it was kind of it, it, porn in Greece was kind of illegal. It's quite a bit of a not backward, but conservative country, religious. Right. right? Why did FHM's Greece's number one man. Oh, let me answer. <laughs> Wait, what? Jesus Christ. <laughs> was he? Yeah. So, so back then it was like when they released the first official prof professional porn film in Greece. Like, porn's been going on for years over there, but yeah. they sort of there was a lot of attention around this particular company because they were doing it on a, on a big budget, big slick thing, right? Yeah. It caused a lot of attention in Greece. Like, oh my god, porn! Like, no one could believe it, and. Because I was with, I was their main guy from the beginning. I sort of got famous with the company. Right. So oh. every time I used to go, like, especially the first couple of years, I used to get papped at the airport. Even was, still, no, you do. Yeah, but now it's calmed down because it's more use. It's not so taboo in Greece mm. now. But you got it's, voted FHM's sexiest man in Greece, didn't yes. you? I did actually. Well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> But like, we I own it. So we've yeah, had it, right? Yeah, he took me to Greece. I, when we were together, I was saying to him about taking me to Greece for ages. He's like, no, I'm not taking you. You're going to hate it because you're going to punch someone. He goes, because you don't understand what it's like. And I... Like he took me when it was died down and literally this guy came running down the street and we was like arm in arm, right, walking down the street. This he, is where we were boyfriend, he girlfriend. Right. Me, <laughs> he actually shoved me out the way, right, and was like, photo, photo, shoved this phone in my face, right? And I was like, sorry, what? And then he he was like, he wanted a photo with Dimitri, which is fine, but he was actually rude to me. Yeah. yeah but like that. but then Dimitri turned around and he was like, Look, don't don't be rude to her. Like but basically what you explained to me was like he, he was like, They're doing that to you because they so don't want to offend him because he's so like the number one out there. Mm. That if they even think that like they're looking at me, he like they get the wrong like think that they're looking at me, then yeah, they, they yeah. might upset him. Mm. So he was like, they don't mean to be rude, but like he's so so number one out there. That like really? yeah, we went for lunch. I went to the toilet, came back, someone was in my seat. Yeah, like what? it's actually ridiculous. Yeah, but how, how do you feel about like? I, that? I don't like the fame side it. of it. Right. I, I, it cringes me. For, uh, the reason I do this job is to make money, mm. right? And. It's just a necessary evil that you've got to kind of have a bit, have a bit of celebrity, like yeah. the whole clout thing now, right? You need attention well, on you to make mm. money now. That's not the old well, days. Touched on your boxing, yeah, yeah but the right? old days wasn't really like that, mm. you know. It wasn't, but if you could do this without having any fame, I, I'd be much more comfortable with it. The only thing it brings you is you get some places like nice table, you get, get good attention. Like we went to a couple of places with yeah. one of her, and you get looked after, so they put you. You don't have to fucking pay for half of the stuff mm. either. Yeah. So there is a positive side to it, but I would rather pay for everything and. Have it, yeah, have it. Uh, and not have any fame, then have even a small bit. Like, it's not so bad in England. That gives a fuck. I'm not like, people don't come up to in the street in England, really. It yeah. has happened, like, like she's in work. It does happen if you go out. I mean, I don't put myself in places like nightclubs and things where yeah. I'm not, I'm too old for that shit. Yeah, of course. But so you can't, but in Greece, it was actually kind of a list celebrity for a while. Yeah, but right? you get off the plane and they're waiting for yeah. you. So, so I, I can, I can honestly say I have experienced a fame the side of it more maybe than most guys in the industry yeah because yeah, of the yeah. Greek aspect and I would say it's bought as shit is <laughs> if you're doing it for that you're then there's something wrong with your ego you need yeah to, right? yeah so if you need strangers to get to love you in my view I think you're there's something wrong there yeah 
Nice to have the money and go to the best places. It's nice to also be appreciated for what you do. Like, do you, that is do nice. you feel the same about, about the fame thing? Yes. Yeah, so the, you... the fame thing, I never really got into this to be famous either. Because like, yeah, she's old school as well. Yeah. Old school is done. So I got into this to make money. Um, and then, don't get me wrong, it was nice to be sort of appreciated for like what I do, but it was never really something like I go, I want to be famous. Yeah. Like, I, and like I said, for me... Yeah, being appreciated and being harassed are two different things. Yeah, but that's what I mean. For, for me, it actually, I actually don't like it because I don't like to be recognised. I don't like, especially when I, I don't so bad when I'm with Dimitri because yeah. I, I know I'm looked after. I, I know nothing's going to happen to me. But yeah. say I, when I'm by myself, like that time I told you in, in Prague, that was horrible for me because I was just like, oh God, I'm by myself. I'm stuck in a plane. What if something happens? What if they follow me? Like all this starts running through my head. Um, so that's the thing with, with me. That's why I, normally when people ask me what I do, I only actually say I'm a babe station girl because that's, what, yeah. that's normally acceptable. But like when as soon as you say I do porn, they're like, oh, do you want to fuck? <laughs> Is that, they just think you're always up for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they do, they come straight in like that as well. It's do not you even, want to fuck? Yeah, do they, you want it's to not fuck? even like, it's not even like any like chit chat. It's straight in. Like, that's what it is. And obviously, not if I'm with him. If I'm by myself, that is what happens. That is what, that is what they people just don't say. View they do you not get, yeah, they just view me as like a sort of a piece of meat. Yeah. Whereas him, he's like, oh my God, you're a legend. Well, you've got to be, yeah. to be fair, but you've been sold as a piece yeah, of meat. Yeah, That's your job. Yeah. So you can 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 understand it. I, mean, I understand yeah. it. I do understand why a guy would come. Not that I agree with it, but if your life is sitting there wanking off watching these girls. Have, um, you, ever, have you ever had any girls come up to you and be like, do you want to fuck? <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, no, no. Not in like scenes. I mean, on the street. Yeah. Really? I went, the first time I went to... Um, the, a the AVNs in Vegas. Is yeah. Do you know what? AVNs is a porn award, heard, right? I've yeah. heard. Yeah. Many years ago, I went, um, and they, what they do is about three or four days, it's like a convention, then the war's at the end of the, the, the trip, right? right? And then there's like, so the first day I walked into the thing, and there was the hotel where it was being held, and I was trying to find where the actual convention part was. Yeah. And there was this little fit bird who was just giving out flies for some other bullshit, I don't know, to go to some club. Mm. And she goes, oh, hi, what are you doing here? And I go, I've come for the AVN, the AVN Awards. She goes, oh, is that the sex expo thing? And, she goes, and I go, yeah. And she goes, what, are you are you a performer? Are you a porn star? And I go, I go, yeah. And she goes, oh, then maybe we should have sex then. <laughs> like, right, okay. I go, oh, that's what I said. <laughs> is that what you said? Yeah. Did you do it? Yeah. Not there and then. I arranged it, yeah. Fair enough. That was mate, the first. That, that was that was. I'm going back like 20 years. Yeah, but yeah. I didn't even know that story. Yeah. <laughs> I put on my. There was there was a MySpace. Did you heard of MySpace? Yeah, that's that, that shows your age now. Yeah, it was that MySpace day, and she put and that basically she was my MySpace profile picture. <laughs> Just a, yeah. Anyway, so yeah, it does happen. Yeah, no. And also, when you're going out long before I got with Jess as well, when I was out in the club scene, a lot of girls. Especially married women. Oh, they want to try you out, don't they? Want to give it a go. They think, oh, well, this really? guy's a professional fucker. I must be good. Professional fucker. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. That's so, what you want. Get, you, and you'd get women who would just want, like, no strings. I'm not making it up. You trust me. You had a hen night, didn't you? Oh, this Wait. is... This is this, the this hen night is bad. This is a disgusting story. This is okay. telling him. They'll I'll love just it. just briefly say, I, I was on this hen night thing where basically I did, like, guest stripper for, right. like, because of porn guy or whatever. And <laughs> this fucking... Hen night, right? So the the, the, the bride, the bride, the bride to be, and her future mother-in-law together. Right. Walk me over. Yeah, this cock, is right. Actually. I don't know where this is going. Cock out. <laughs> pulls my cock out. The mother-in-law, future mother-in-law. She goes, look at that cock. To the to the future to her. To the future daughter-in-law. Yeah. Suck suck on that because you won't be able to do this once you're married to my boy. And she's forced. <laughs> she's forcing my cock into the the, the bride's mouth. What? Off. Mate, yeah. I kind of lost a lot of respect for women that day. I Jesus can't tell what I'm right. well, I know, like, when you tell me that story, I couldn't believe that. No one. lie. That is great. The mother in law. The mother in law. So it's her boy that. Yeah, yeah. it's her boy that the daughter's marrying. And then she started sucking it as well. <laughs> Together? Yeah. Tag team? Yeah. Jesus uh, Christ. I, I'm not making it up. I'm not saying I'm not making it up. Man. Yeah, I remember so that. When well, you see you... Shit, so when you shoot, see shit like that, you kind of. You, you've got a. Yeah, my brain's a little bit frazzled. <laughs> yeah, does it? What does that? What did that do to you? Did you feel well, bad? Or... Maybe that's part of the reason why I'm so that's, cold. I think that is why. Though he is. Maybe I'm not he really is. bothered about being attached to someone right? because yeah. I, I've got. I don't see any value. I'm not painting. I'm not painting everyone the same brush. This is not like like that, right? Mm -hmm. But perhaps all these experiences and being exposed to such brashness in the job that I do, not just you know, Randomly kind of. But you get a lot of wives that want to see, like husbands that want their wives to fuck him and stuff like that while they watch and stuff. So I do think a lot, all of this kind of made it together is is maybe part of the way that he is partly. Yeah, it's shaped who you yeah. are, sort of. Yeah, I mean, I think I am the way I am anyway, but it hasn't helped necessarily. Yeah. 
Mm. Let's put it that way. And you get married men, I'm guessing. Oh, I get loads yeah. of married men. Is that what you say? That's quite like a popular sort of your fan base. Massive, yeah. yeah. I get loads of married men. And then and then the funny thing is, is like even when I was on babe station and stuff like that, like I'll get men like, like you know, obviously call me up and they'll be like, oh, like don't tell my wife. I'm like, I don't know your wife. Yeah, like, like, so I, I'm not, I've, all I hear is your voice. So I'm they, never, I think they kind of they like panic. that. Yeah, though, yeah, yeah, that's the do. fantasy, right? That's fantasy. And I get some guys on cam and stuff like that or like and that and, and on my uh, like, um, you know, socials and that that come in and like, oh, do you like a married man? And you can see that like, yeah, they do like that. Like, I get loads of married yeah. men. Like, is it mostly older guys or can it be mixture really totally yeah mixture. yeah so i was thinking something the other day who watches like babe station and stuff mm -hmm. like what age range so i get completely different like even when i'm on babe station my range of callers sometimes i get some old men that are like about to drop dead and then other people i get <laughs> i get like some younger guys who are literally just 18 and have just like just their first phone call like really, yeah, yeah i've had all sorts on babe station i'm sure a few of the other girls can tell how do you them. keep the conversation going when it's like a Fuck, she can First talk for England, man. I can talk for England. Really? Yeah. That's not, yeah. not machine gun. <laughs> <laughs> he says to it all the time. It's a good time. way to be. Yeah. yeah. For this it's job. good way to be. Brilliant. Yeah. yeah. If you had more, one message to give to the world, what would it be? One message. Oh, yeah. Deep. We're oh, getting, we're getting, we're getting, <laughs> we're getting, we've dabbled into a bit of the funny um, stuff. I don't know, stuff. really. I don't actually know what I So It's one of those street interviews, you know, on TikTok where they come up to you, they give you a mic. One yeah, what would you say? Um, I don't know what I'd I say. I don't know. It'd be something like... Mine would be protect yourself at all times. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so would mine. My nose is fucked from boxing, man. Just keep them hands up. Well, yeah, you're doing boxing now, aren't you? Are we talking about boxing or not really? Uh, oh, yeah, right. Dimitri is actually going to be fighting, uh, you guys might recognise me from the Misfits scene, on Misfits Boxing, uh, KSI's promotion. Uh, do you want to touch on that? Tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, well, it, as you said, KSI and Mams Taylor. Mams the ones Taylor, that run it. Yeah. And Ma Mams I've known for many years. Uh, right. It just so happened one of the girls we were shooting with on the porn circuit um, was, well, I was having a chat with her and she was like going well, to I a, was having a chat with well, she her. Told, yeah, well, <laughs> it turns out that she was training for a boxing event. Right. Um, and she told me about this whole Misfits where it's influencer boxing and stuff. And, yeah. I, and I never knew Mams was involved because I've known Mams as a record producer. He was into music. Yeah, he was the music, yeah. Right? He's written you your own In song, fact, he's written it? me actual songs for yeah. my porn films. Oh, like, really? Not, yeah. He's got his own theme tune. Hey, Mams is... Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's legend, man. He's a legend. So, um, it, it then basically I found out there, there and then, that he was involved with the actual... I knew I knew he was the manager of KSI. Yeah, KSI, yeah. So, and then I just put to him to go, oh, so he's, he's running Misfits. Yeah, so I yeah. rang him up and he goes, yeah, you should do it, he goes to me, because, yeah, we've got... Um, L Brook, who's a content creator, sort of porn slash, you know. Yeah. Um, but we've got no guys from that scene doing it. If you're up for it, and I said, and it you'd be, you're going to be the first guy from the porn industry to ever yeah. be on Misfits, which yeah, yeah. is going to get you a lot of exposure in itself. Well, I'm in camp now, time. so I don't know when I should be fighting in about six months. Go on, not, show us a move. I'm not, oh, shut up. <laughs> 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 Fucking move. Just show sparring. us a move. <laughs> I'll, show, I'll show you some moves later. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> right. Um, so, yeah, but as I was saying to you earlier before we, we you know, went on air, yeah, it's yeah. Um, boxing's not really my. I, I, I've done jiu jitsu for many years. So it's quite. It's not really the discipline that I'm used to or really like, actually, but that's what they do. I mean, I think they're going into the MMA uh, arena at some point. So that'd probably be better. Oh, really? Food. Yeah. But I'm gonna, I've, I've committed to the boxing. So uh, I don't know who I'm boxing yet. You said it was a bit of a disadvantage having experience in another combat sport. Yes, because in the in the sparring sessions I've had now, I find it hard. Like when I so when I'm in close quarters, not to like use elbows. Yeah, because <laughs> right, like, you can't help. Because that's how I know to we fight or get them to the floor, or get them onto the ground. Yeah, you know? it's, it's called misfits. You know? yeah, but yeah, but I can't go and start doing that shit. No, yeah, it's, no, not, no, it's no, not cool. No. So. I've found I've found that, that that the discipline of of keeping to the the form is hard. and also when you turn around and they can't they, they got to stop hitting you and things like that. And you're aggressive as well. Yeah, so I think it's hard no, for you. To aggressive. Have you ever knocked someone like out cold? Yes. No. What do you mean yes? You have. Who? She's like, but man can do that. <laughs> You have, I know you have. I have not, I've not seen it. No, well, you, 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 it rumoured. You fought a lot of people and I'm not, It's not like, look, I'm not an aggressive person, but if they put me in that, if, if it's me or someone else and that's what I'm there to do, mm. I will go all out, you know. Uh, and and from my experience so far, like I've, I've only been training for boxing for the last, well, I did it about three months now I've been training for it. Over Christmas, I've made a mistake of going to someone else's gym to train. Right. To and I, I got into the ring with one of their pro guys 
and we were just doing body shots together. I was like, it was meant to be light, and he ended up cracking two of my ribs. Fuck so, me. yeah, wanker. Like, there was only, he had 10 ounce gloves on as well. Just sparring as well. Uh, just, and it was meant to be, I said to him, look, I'm a novice. We're just getting, and he goes, yeah, sorry, we're doing it for conditioning so you can get used to how it feels. And it just got more and more aggressive. I mean, I was backing him back as well, but I didn't know what I was doing. You had to have your foot in a tie, didn't you? Yeah, we was both in a tie, one foot in a tie. And we was basically just, no no headshots, just body shots. Was he heavier than you as well? Yeah, much heavier. Like, it was... Exactly. Oh, it was That's some bad coaching, that yeah, is. And, it was my... It was, I don't even blame the guy I was sparring with because he was just doing what he was told, right? Mm. It was the coach there saying... That's in the wrong. Yeah, 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 for sure. And I ended up too fractured. Like, I've only just... It's six weeks since it's... Like, I've only just now started sparring again because... I couldn't take hits here. I was doing, I was doing um, face sparring to avoid it, mm. just to get used to that that kind of thing. Do you prefer being hit in the face or the body? Because this is a topic on TikTok I've it's seen. It's not. Um, you don't want to really get hit, do you? No, no. Like, the aim is to not get hit. The, the body. Since I had the injury, I'm really r worried about that now. So, I'm, uh, so even the face, I don't really mind getting hit in the face. But mm. as you know, you've done a bit of boxing yourself. Yeah. It's quite easy to like glance the blows from your face like just a little bit of movement of your head yeah. you can you, you know whereas so the body the body it's there unless you've got your elbow down blocking it and that's the other thing as well from my jujitsu stuff right mm. I, I tend to block my use my I, I don't I don't block as in the boxing style I don't keep form like this I'm yeah. like more loose okay. and, and I and it's to my detriment because but I open up quite a lot so if someone knows what they're doing they're mm. going to Op open me up and then attack me in my weak, weak right, spot. Yeah. Now my argument, that's a good point actually. Well, it, Do we want to reveal that on here? Because when you fight, people well, might... the, the thing is, we're talking about. I'm not fighting pro fighters, right? right? Yeah. I'm hoping it's going to be someone of my level or less. Do you want to make a call out to someone on here right now? Who do you want to fight? Who are you calling out? Because we can clip this and put it on on the Twitter, and I'll retweet it. We'll I'll fight anyone in the porn game. Couldn't give a fuck. Don't care about weight class or nothing. Yeah. Right. Okay. Oh, uh, but, but is there any celebrities out there that you think oh, I'd love to just dapper punch him up dapper it's not even funny that dude no. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so I'm not bored but I wouldn't mind taking Ed Matthews on because Ed he's, Matthews right okay. I wouldn't mind taking because he's similar weight class but, he's younger than you though yeah but they're all younger than me I'm old by the way I'm 51 so yeah he does not look 51 so I'm old I mean yeah what did you think what do you think about Ed Matthews boxing skills I think he's just like a bit of a pub ruler I think he'll come out swinging. If he catches you, you're fucked. Because yep. he's got a bit of power. He's got a bit of power. He's, he, I don't know if he's on the roids anymore. He used to be. He's, 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 a, he's yeah. dropped a lot of weight. So, so I think he's you're off calling the... out Ed. Well, like, I don't... Listen. He's calling out Ed. Quite frankly, you know what? Uh, um, why am I doing this, right? We said this. Why am I doing this? I'm doing this for clout. I'm doing this because my... I want people to go to my OnlyFans, right? That's, mm -hmm. that's the bottom line. My... And do you know what? I love the honesty. Because well, people that's... lie and say, I'm in love with the sport. You're not. You said I'm doing it for this. Yeah. I'm purely doing. Look, I tell you what. I, I I love the content I produce. I'm in the porn game, right? The, porn, the content I stuff is banging, right? But I need more people to fucking see it. Yes. Yeah. To experience what's going on here. Oh, yeah. Right. So this has given me a platform to do it. That's why I'm doing it. Boxing, in my opinion, is not my my number one love. Like I say, I'd rather do jitsu any day of the week or MMA fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All day long. That's my comfort zone. Mm. But I'm happy to take the challenge on because I tell you, I actually tell you something that's interesting. The fitness level required to box, man. Wow. Yeah, on, I've learned that the hard way. But you're what? going running, you're cycling, wow, like, you're just doing all sorts of stuff. Yeah, you've been doing it for a few months, so have you, have you noticed a difference in your... So I've got a gym at home, so I'm training. I, I train away, but I don't do cardio stuff. I'm, I'm now... There's, 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 there's being fit for my job, for fucking. Yeah. There's being fit for weight training, but boxing fit is a whole different world. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I'm 30 seconds in the, in the sparring and I'm gassed. Yeah. Like, if, I'm, if I'm punching and getting punched, I'm gassed. In 30, like, that's no joke. And I'm relatively fit. So you I and Ed Matthews would actually be a good a good fight. Well, then. it's going to be he's going to storm unless he unless he's learns from his last fight against Pineda. To not let Pineda, it. Pineda, like if you saw him, you'd think Pineda was going to get done because he, KSI knocked him out in the first round. Yeah, KSI is a lump, isn't he? Yeah, <laughs> that's not a really fair. KSI actually. is a lump. No, right? he is. Yeah. Um, Pineda played a clever game. He's like a beanstalk, right? Mm -hmm. Ed Matthews came out swinging. He just avoided him. Got a couple of clumps. All right, whatever. 40 seconds, about a minute in, he was gassed. Yeah, yeah. And then he just... Boop, boop, just bang, 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 yeah. And out, then the second round, the ring. knocked him literally out the ring. So I don't rate Ed Matthews. I mean, I've got a feeling Ed Matthews is now going to look back at that and, and realise his shortcomings. And if he doesn't get fit, he's just going to get embarrassed. Like, his fitness is letting him down. He was he's got the mentality, he's ruthless. And if he catches you, like I say, he's going to get you. But mm. if you've got a bit of boxing smarts and you've learnt some basics and technicals, 
you can steer around him and just basically get him at your own level. So yeah. even me, for me, even me, my limited experience, I'm not that excited about an Ed Matthews. Ed Matthews has got clout though, so I'll do it for that reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I don't, I, I've got no beef with anyone, no. honestly. Got, we need to have beef. I mean, no. I've got no beef. <laughs> I've got no, unless, unless someone's going to be and rude to me, yeah. then I'll, 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 we'll have it. But someone's I've got, I've got no one, no one springs to my mind. Right. But if someone was to make a video calling you out, yeah. Talking a load of shit, you'd, you'd have them. As long as they've got clout. <laughs> yeah. Clout. Yeah, that's, 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 that's where that's I'm coming from. That's, 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 that's yeah. where I'm coming from. Awesome. Yeah. You, you, have a, you have a business, right? Yeah, so we both do. Um, so yeah. it's um, it's uh, a welly, welly site, like Wellington Boots. Wellington Boots. So basically what happened was um, some fan bought me like one pair of hunters and was like, will you do a video in them for me if I buy them? And the hunter's like about £100 a pair. So I was like, yeah, that's fine. I'll do you like a little custom video. So then he bought me like 20 pairs of them, all different colours. Um, Literally, that's yeah, a whole room for these. Fucking... a whole room of them. So then we like did a few videos and it's like humping a welly and some... Some of them will be getting muddy. Some of them won't be getting muddy. Some of them are not rude at all. Some of them are rude. Some of them, like I said, are humping and some of them are just mm. wearing the weathers. And basically, I, I did them for this guy, sent them to him, and then I put them into my, like, clip stores afterwards. Yeah. And then I didn't realise, but, like, they literally rocketed with, like, there's so many people that have a wellies fetish. Um. So then, yeah, and that just went for them. We did, then we did a site with it, didn't we? Mm. Oh, well, we said it was... Wellies Wonderland, isn't it? Wellies Wonderland. Wellies Wonderland. Yeah. Check it out. If any of you out there like to read. <laughs> Check it out. Because we said it, it's a feet thing, right? Um, it's a feet thing. It's a rubber boot thing. Um, it's a, Yeah, like a rubber boot Jumping thing. in muddy puddles. It's a yeah, thing. Yeah, clean and muddy. Um, a, lot of, a lot of fetishes there's out there. There's a few, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. What's the strangest one you guys have, have Well, you across? said about the sploshing out there, didn't you? Sploshing, yeah, so... Sploshing. Sploshing's a weird one. That's, that's food, getting so food on you. So sploshing's food, gunge, um, you know, basically stuff being poured over you. We actually did a boy girl in, in one. Someone ordered a custom and wanted me to be like a cyborg. And then when right. the metallic gunge gets poured over me, I turn into this like sex maniac robot. Yeah. Um, and then he has to dunk my head while fucking me. But do you know how hard it is to fucking gunge? Because as soon as oh, he tries imagine. to put it in, I just go slide sliding somewhere out. else. <laughs> It's really hard. It. It's really, really hard. No, it's uh, it's interesting. I don't think I could do that. Well, then it's you had good. to you had to come on my face and then pour gunge over my face afterwards. So really? yeah. What were you thinking making it? You're like, <laughs> I beg this never happens. He was like, let's just get this over and done well, with. Well, I, I said I put the price. I doubled the price for next, and they still fucking did it. They didn't so think they were going to After ten times yeah. the price, now. Yeah, well. But Dimitri yeah. didn't even want to be in it. Like, so basically it was a 20 minute custom. He was like, you can be in it for 15. I was like, well, no, it's like a boy girl. He goes, no, nope, I'm being in it for five minutes. That's it. Yeah, so I basically got her to do playing myself. Yeah, 15 yeah. Minutes on her own. Yeah. And then for the last five minutes, the finale, I come in and stick it to but her. Do you know what the worst of it was? So I've been in the guns for the longest. And he goes, well, right, I'm getting in the shower now. I was like, no, I've been in the guns for the longest. I'm cold. Yeah, he goes, you've, no. you've acclimatised. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> See, he, he me. left me. He left me in the pool of guns. He goes, right, I'm going to get, I'm going to get chat. I'm right, going how long was I in the shower? Three minutes. Yeah, but I, and then you were like, you can start cleaning up. Yeah, like, yeah. while I was left in the gun. Well, your oh, idea. Well, I don't no. want to do this. Well, I needed you for it. Yeah, I did it. Wow. Yeah, it was... You guys you guys <laughs> have some stories to tell. So many. A lot of stories to tell. So many. But yeah, uh, so what are your guys' social medias? We're going to put them up on screen now for those of you watching. Yeah. Uh, so my Twitter is um, at JessWestXXX. Um, my Insta's official dot Jess West. I bet you don't know yours, do you, Dimitri? I do, because no, it's the same. It's the same, yeah. It's the same, isn't it? It is the but, same. Yeah, I do. The Twitter is, so, and all of them, at Dimitri underscore Simstad. Right. Bit of a mouthful. Uh, long story, I used to do a lot of sim racing. Yeah. Before I got into this whole boxing bullshit. Right? So you've added it on. So, it so it, I, I left it there because I used to do, girls used to come around and interrupt my racing and then I used to fuck them. We have them. a whole room in our house that is actually ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. Some of the guys, Alan, have you seen it? Uh, There's, I'll show you a picture. There's a whole room in our house, costs more than my car. It's like, brilliant, man. Of, like, uh, yeah. Oh, it's fucking, or sim, proper simulator. So F1 drivers have it. Fucking it hell. Is the, it's the nuts. Uh, but, like uh, every guy's dream, you've yeah, got it. Well, that that see that is more of a dream. The fucking honestly, I can I could give a give yeah. a fuck. It gets once you've done it as long as I have. It's but the sim racing. That's what oh, gets that is excited. Gets if excited. I could yeah, be anything it. in this, I'd, I'd be a, dri a racing driver. Really? But, well, that's what he asked earlier. What would be your dream? And it, yeah, so I didn't get well, didn't give me a chance to fucking say anything. Give me a word. <laughs> like I say, man, once you've done one, once you've been on set. Like, like I said to you before, the picture of the pussy, they send you DMs of a pussy. Oh, look, what do you think of my pussy? Well, You've I seen, seen so many, yeah. It's, it's boring. Like, I have to I have to switch, when I go on set, for the, and I have to work, 
I have to go into like a perv mode in my head. Like it's not normal. He gets this really? dirty perv. Yeah, it's this look mode. over his face. Yeah, it's, it's like not, it's right, not, dirty old it's man. Not normal. Can, can it's you not show pretty. the camera? <laughs> 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 You'll lose all your fucking followers, mate. No, but basically, so, all the girls no. clock it now. No, but, no, but do you know what I mean? I go into like I'm I'm here to fuck now, right? Right, yeah. and I switch into I suppose it's like fighting when you want to go to into aggressive mode. You have to turn into a different. It's like animal, isn't it? It's animal. It's the difference. It's why I think now going back to the thing that most guys fell on set because they don't switch into that yeah you either can switch into it or not and it's it's not pretty it's like no. an animal in that it's thing in it in you yeah, it's, it's not cool it's not, but, but it girls, is cool because that's how you get the job it's not it's not it's not cringe once you're into so it so normally but, what he does but, he starts over and he goes okay don't mind me girls i'll just get into perv mode and then like like yeah, they all know it everyone oh. knows it yeah, knows yeah they'll it. just i'll just sit down to get a clock out and i'll just look at it go right just carry on <laughs> And I'll just, and I'll just, be, and I'll just be looking at them, and they'll be looking at me like, like I look pervy. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's there's, the right there's, no, day, there's no two ways about it. And I will go, if you just want to say something to the camera whilst I'm getting ready, and then, and then before they're even setting his camera, I'm just fucking, I'm just like, I've just, I'm zoned in. in. Yeah. Yeah. But that's the you, way to do it. How long does it take to get into that zone? Seconds. Uh, really? Seconds. That's yeah. Fine. Well, like, it's not even longer. It goes, give me five minutes. Not five minutes. The, <laughs> the girl will turn to the camera and start saying something. And before she's finished what she's saying, he will have had his dick in her mouth. Like that. It's not. It's, it's literally second yeah but you'll see yeah but i don't i can give a few, away a few tricks of the trade here i'll give a few tricks away. Okay, like to, okay. any, to, any, away. to any upcoming performers you know if you want some help on this it might, it might help the viewers as well it's, in their sex life it's, i say to the girl like give us a few minutes to get ready like this is the time for me to get ready right mm. but i'm real ready ready it's not it's not in those few minutes. That's the that's the trick here. Right. They've been fucking at this guy, like, because they used to get on set and the guys are fucking there 20 minutes having a wank and nothing's happening, right? Mm. But they've got it all wrong. I when I've said when I'm saying to that girl, right, I'm gonna be ready in five minutes, be right, be, be ready. I'm already ready. All right, mm. I'm not, I'm not I haven't got the the, the boner. I'm, i come out relaxed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But mentally, I'm in, I'm keyed in. And all I'm now doing is the final bit of the toolbox. Right? All I'm doing now is now, okay, now cock in hand is the final. But my my mind, it's all the mind. My mind is already on the game. Yeah. That's that's the hard bit. Well, that, that... That's the hard The cock bit is the easy bit. Easy but, bit. But what these guys are failing to see is it's a mental game. It like, is you've got to be. If you ever face like it, erectile it, dysfunction or anything like it, that. It, there's a guy once who come on set. He took five Viagras, one after the other. Like a good that's friend. that could kill you, no? He took like, and this guy was a stud, right? Good looking guy, another good looking guy, a friend of mine. And, he, and he, all the girls loved him. And I said, oh, "You'd be good. Let's, let's get you on set. The girls will love you because half the battle is won if the girl actually likes you because they'll help you a little bit. They'll get you through it. You know yeah, I mean? yeah, if, yeah. If course. you're struggling, so this I said, the "Girls love you. You'll come on. So you'll you'll have an easy time." And for love or money, he could not get wood, right? On set, mm. when we was in the car on the way home, he was sitting there with a boner like that. No, because, <laughs> yeah, because he drop he dropped so many pills, but it's not about it's it's about you got to be mentally yeah. relaxed. You got to be. Yeah, into but you it. say all the time. Dimitri says all the time. It's not about the girl that's in front of him. He, Dimitri could have a plank of wood in front yeah. of him, and if he was told to fuck it, he would have to yeah, fuck the girls, it. Yeah, right? the girls. The girls irrelevant. He, do, you, do you pay attention to it? Like, could you fuck a really like in your I have ugly done. girl? Yes, yeah. he has. It, it, it's not about the girl. That's the thing. If you go there hoping the girl's fit and you're going to fancy and she's going to fancy you, you're fucked. You're because it's not. You might be lucky. And sometimes you get that and you're going to have a good one. Yeah. But yeah most yeah. of the time you're not going to get that. No. Most no. of the time she's not going to like you, or if she, you know, or you're not going to like it, whatever. It's, and isn't it? Normally, so you've got to learn to do it with whoever, whoever. Yeah. Normally the ugly ones will give you more, won't they? And then the, the well, pretty I mean, ones. Listen, normally... There's some pretty ones that are great performers, <laughs> but. A lot of pretty girls also have that diva element about them. Don't do this. Don't fuck me yeah. too hard. Don't because Mess my hair up. whatever, right? Where some of the <laughs> that's, yeah. I wouldn't say ugly, but some of the ones who aren't like top top draw. Yeah, yeah fucking yeah. you. You can fuck them six ways from Sunday. Yeah, like, they love yeah. it because they, you know they're up they're up for it basically, and that's normally a better scene mm. than the ones that sort of cock block. You know, have the hands. You can tell, can't you? I guess. Yeah, the viewer. Look, at the end of the day, look. As much as you've got to be into it to perform well, right? You're you're not really performing for yourself. No, you're performing no, for the viewer, yeah. and the viewer can sit like you just said it. If you're watching it, and the girl is like dead between your eyes, she's not interested. You can tell, and the guy is just like a robot. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? Who's gonna wank over that? That's true. That right? Yeah, true. I mean, you've got to have some connection with your fellow performer. Like whether you fancy them or not, that's not the issue. But you mm. have to. Part have of some being professional is to when you connection. turn up, you don't have to fancy each other, but you basically basically got to say right, right we're together. both here, we're both getting paid, we're both doing here for the same reason. Yeah. Let's make this work. We've yeah. got to work together. Yeah. Within yeah. reason, I'm not saying the girl's got to suck the guy's dick for ten minutes or whatever before. Like, I'm not saying like that, but I'm no, saying but... you've got the professional courtesy between you to make it a good scene. You need to connect. You've got to work yeah. together, basically. Yeah. Do you have to go into a zone? 
Jess? Um, I do, yeah, because pretty much like... All of the people that I've worked with, pretty much nine times out of ten, I don't fancy them. Yeah. Like, and even when I first met Dimitri, like, don't get me wrong, I knew he was a good-looking guy and stuff mm. like this, but I didn't like. I wasn't. Uh, so what? I what was your like type then? So my type, I don't really have a type. It's uh, like I quite like alphaness. Like yeah. that's my thing. Like I like a guy to be a guy. No, I don't mean really like whack me around and stuff. But I like a man to be like a man. Like you know, and I I do quite like a bit not dominance. I think that's the wrong word. But like you know, because I see it as like even when we and Switch were together, like we uh, he could never tell me what to do, and mm. I would never tell him what to do. But I would have his opinion. Yeah, you know, yeah. And, I, and whether I want to listen to it or not, that's up to me. But he wouldn't. I wouldn't have him controlling me and I wouldn't control him yeah. you know I'm not like that I see it as an equal in that playing field but then at the same time I would like like pull up and bring the horns to come and get my shopping mm. like things like that I can carry the bags myself Sexist. but I think he should do it for me that's what training for yeah, that's what I'm training yeah. for is it kitchen <laughs> yeah. oh my god yeah proper red pill mm. now but yeah thank you guys for watching the show make sure to follow Jess and Dimitri on all of their social medias go and buy early fans yeah, but some only fans. Only fans. Yeah. We'll put the link in the description. Yeah, um, same tag for me. Free, free to join. Just join free up. Free to join. Free to look window shop, by me like. And you there will see go. me on Babe Station as well, because I am obviously a Babe Station Babe girl. Babe Station girl. Babe Station girl. That's it. Very important. <laughs> so yeah, thank you guys for coming on. Thank you, thank man. You. Really enjoyed it. Thank you guys for listening. Make sure to follow us on all our social media. Also follow Jess West and Dimitri. And uh, we will see you on the next one. Peace. You're through to option one. Option one podcast.